Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I am Angie Rose with Angie Rose Health Coaching. I'm here for your Monday mojo, your Monday motivational video, your whatever, your motivational video, right? I'm trying to come up with some fancy other words, but really some of us just need a little more mojo on Monday and I'm definitely feeling that as well, especially after the time change last week. So, all right, and a busy weekend. So, I know the weather's beginning to change. I walked out of my office this morning and the sun was shining and I'm like, yes. So it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So I hope you guys are as happy about that as I am. Well, anyways, this week I want to talk with you a little bit about something that I'm calling Welcome the Challenge. Welcome the Challenge. And the reason why I am calling it this is most of us, usually run away from things that are hard or we put them on the shelf for another time or another season. And really, guys, the truth of the matter is getting healthy, changing your body, eating better, exercising, drinking water, it's hard. It takes work and it takes effort. And I would be lying to you if I told you that it didn't. So most of us know this. That's why so many of us get stuck in a place and we don't actually go after those goals is because we start, life comes at us, and then we're like, mm, we'll do that at another time, right? So I don't know about you, but I've dealt with that. I dealt with that most of my life until I made that decision that I wanted to change my weight and change my lifestyle and change how I felt, right? But I can't tell you just because I'm a health coach and I've been doing this for, I've been health coaching for 13 years, but I have been eating healthier and exercising and doing the right stuff for 20 years. But it's still hard some days because I'm human and because I have emotions and because food is good. <laughs> food is good. It tastes good, right? It's supposed to. But my goal in life is that food does not have control over me. And it does not have control over my emotions to the point that I am not in self-control, okay? And I know for many of you who watch me, this is where you guys are at. And so I just want to encourage you guys today and let you guys know that honestly, you can change. You can. Uh, and you can get to the place that you have self-control, even though many of us say we've just never been able to, all right? So... I would love to tell you I'm perfect at it, but I'm not. I'm not. All right. So anyways, so let's give you a couple scenarios about how things can be hard and how for us a lot of times, guys, that we end up putting ourselves on the back burner. Okay. So let's say you're in the middle of a workout. You're exercising and it starts to get challenging and hard. Okay. Oh, my back's starting to hurt or my feet are starting to hurt or it's just too hot or can't catch my breath and my lungs are on fire. I've been there. I don't know about you guys. What do you do? I'm going to give you three choices. A, you say, well, I guess I'm done because I've reached my limit for today and you stop. That's the first choice. The second choice is you ask yourself, why is this always so hard for me? I'm just in terrible shape. Why do I even try? Okay, that's your second choice. Or your third choice is, do you tell yourself, bring it on. This is where I'm going to shine and this is where it's the most important is when it's the hardest. Okay, so that's the thing I want you guys thinking about, those three choices. I quit, I beat myself up, or I push myself through. And a lot of times, for most of us, we end up quitting, right? It's usually the first two. We quit or we beat ourselves up. Here's another common situation. So let me throw this one at you. Let's say over the past few days, you've been swapping out your not so healthy snacks with healthier choices, okay? Suddenly you're hit with a major craving for cookies, but you're not even that hungry. So what do you do? Let me give you three choices here. First, you say, I'm just going to eat the cookies anyway because life is short and who cares? Okay, second choice, do you ask yourself, why does this always happen to me? There must be something wrong with me that I'm just constantly having cravings and it's never easy. Or C, do you tell yourself, 
I've got this. This is a chance to show my old cookie habit who is the real boss. Okay, three choices. I will tell you the old Angie, nine times out of ten, would get so frustrated and I would say, I just don't care. I don't care. I want the cookie. It doesn't matter. The craving's not going to go away until I eat it. I don't have self-control anyways. And then I would eat all the cookies. And then I would do the second thing, which is then I would beat myself up and tell myself how stupid I was and how uh, I couldn't even control myself and I was weak. Okay? So a lot of times, for most of us, these are the behaviors we fall into and we find ourselves repeating over and over and over again and self-sabotaging ourselves, okay? So here's the sneaky secret that I want to talk to you guys about that very few coaches are actually willing to tell you. The truth is, it's hard. It's hard to make changes. It's hard when we're emotional. And it's hard because feelings scream really, 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 really loud, right? And this is why most of us end up giving in, you know? And so the truth is when we are getting out of our comfort zone, it's almost like it's literally a megaphone in our ear and we can't put it down. We can't get it away. We can't shut it down. We can't quiet our mind and stop the things from rolling around until we actually eat it. A lot of times that's because it's just like, it's just like addiction. I mean, we think about an alcoholic or a drug addict, which I am a recovered drug addict. And it's the same behaviors with food that until we actually eat, the, the, the feeling doesn't go away. Okay? And it's usually mentally, it's physically, and it can be even spiritually for some people, I would guess. Because sometimes food becomes our God. Right? It's the thing that comforts me, even though I know it's killing me. Right? I know that's pretty deep, pretty quick. But what I want to say today is this. In those very moments where things are super, super, super hard, you guys, this is the time where real change actually gets to happen. Because we have a choice to make. We have a choice that we can give in or we can welcome the challenge. Hence why I called it today, Welcome the Challenge. You know, when things get tough and things get hard, you are very capable of saying no, of walking away, of closing the refrigerator or the cabinet, or even in the grocery store, not buying the cookies to begin with. You're very, very capable, okay? But when the challenge comes, what I want you to be able to do is get to that place if you have to even say out loud, because I'm going to be honest, I talk to myself. People hear me all the time. And I'm like, yeah, I'm talking to myself. But it may be that I say to myself, welcome the challenge. It's hard right now, but on the other side of it, it gets easier. And then the next time we welcome the challenge, it gets even easier. And then the next time, it might not even be as much of a challenge. It might be easier to just go, oh, that feeling is there, that emotion is there, that craving is there, but I'm okay. And really, this, the more you do this, the easier it gets, and this just becomes a habit. Because I ain't going to lie, there are days, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm working out and I'm like, ugh, I'm not feeling this, I want to quit. And then I get through, actually, I'll give you an example. Today I woke up. I slept on my arm wrong, I think. So my elbow, you ever get that clicky feeling in your elbow where your elbow just needs to pop? And I was starting a new weight training program today. I'm getting back into weights after my surgery. And I thought, you know what, if I go down there and do that, it's probably going to mess up my elbow or it's going to make it hurt more all day. And in my thought head, I thought, I didn't say, say welcome the challenge, but I thought, I'm just going to go down and do what I can. And if it is an issue, I will stop. Well, guess what? It don't even hurt now. I exercised and it went away. And so that is a perfect example of I welcome the challenge, even though, you know, I knew it wasn't life-threatening, so I know my body. And I was like, well, maybe if I move it enough, it'll lengthen those muscles out and make them feel good. But 
Sometimes you just have to give yourself a little self-talk. You have to redirect yourself and set some boundaries for yourself because a lot of times other people aren't going to do it for you. I want you to get excited about making changes. It's how you focus on a thing that gives it power. I mean, that's the reality of it. If I focus on the things that I said, the first, first and second choices, it's too hard, I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough, I can't do it well enough, it's, it makes me sweat, it hurts when I walk. Believe me, I remember. I, I started exercising back in the day of Tybo. I'm aging myself. Go look up Billy Blanks and Tybo if you don't know what it is. But uh, I'll tell you what, that dude was killer. He killed me. Thought I was going to die. But I'm still here. Because I would do what I could and understand that I can't do it all, but I can do something. And then I would give myself some grace to know I will grow from this. And I will get better at it. And I will do better. But I'm going to welcome the challenge. Okay? Things that are important to us usually don't come easy. Things that are beneficial for us usually don't come easy. So today, if you're that person, and I, I know there's more than one of you, but if I'm speaking to you, and this is the place that you're in, that you're like, it's just too hard. It's always challenging. Honestly, every time I just had a conversation with the client, that every time she gets started on something, it feels like the world falls apart and she has to quit. And I'm like, well, that's because the devil knows that as soon as he gives you enough issue, you're going to end up walking away at some point. So he gives it to you and then life happens and then you walk away and six months later you have to restart. So at some point, welcome the challenge and just say, you know what? I'm in. I know it's hard. I know it's not perfect. I know I'm going to make mistakes. But the one thing I will not do is give up. All right. So I hope today, guys, that that encourages you. Get moving. Do the next right thing. Eat the next right meal. Don't wait. I mean, today's Monday. So if you haven't started yet, you still get to start today, right? But the truth of the matter is, guys, you can do this. All right? You're welcome, Miss Bobby. I love you, friend, so much, so much. All right. For those of you who waited around till the end, I just wanted you to know that I am offering a one hour free consultation if you'd like to work with me one on one. I really believe that this whole program that I do is a spiritual, emotional and physical um, journey. It's not one or the other. You have to deal with all three. Really what you think. So you guys have a blessed week. I will see you next Monday. Stay motivated. Keep your eyes up. Stay focused and welcome the challenge. Bye.